Hello again. I'm back to show you how to make a cupcake holder to set your little cupcakes in for parties and it's just a great presentation. We're using the candy box topper die. You'll want to look at the other videos for how that die functions. I have the pieces that we're going to need here already cut for that. Now unlike all the other times where we have completed the cut here uh, for this, we actually want to do is not cut it. We want to fold all four sides and I will link the instruction page to this uh, in the description of this video. Alright, so we have folded that all the way around. The paper doesn't always like to fold all four directions based on its weave. Okay, so now you can see where those corner tabs are. What we have to do is we have to take about a third out of the middle of the tab. So we'll take our scissor and cut up here to the point and to the point. So, I didn't quite cut far enough there. Okay, we'll repeat that on all four sides. Kind of looks like a little heart anyway. I really should have my glasses so I can see better. <laughs> All right. Hmm. Oops, I'm fired. Don't do that. Get your glasses out. I have no idea where mine even are, so that is why I'm not using them. All right, so now we have our four little pieces cut out of there. Okay, we'll fold all these back. We'll pretend that we didn't tear that one. Okay, so now we just need to put glue on one of each set of these. And again, I use my glossy accents as my glue. So we're gonna put it here and here and here. And here, okay. And now we are going to overlap these two. So I don't know if you can see that, but it's creating that little corner pleat. So this one over the one with the glue, and unfortunately that's the one with the tear. We'll ignore that. Okay. We repeat this all the way around. So what this is doing is instead of making our box straight up and down, it's allowing for the angle that most cupcakes have. And that way our frosting is not sticking in the actual paper of the cup. So once you have that done, it is now a pleated more open flared box. Okay, so now if we put our cupcake in there, it kind of sits way down in there far. And that looks like I could have cut a bit more out of there. So you can see that you can adjust it. I could have cut a bigger piece out then this would be narrow. So you can adjust this based on how big your cupcake is. But now it sits down in there really far and it's hard to get it out. So I used the bottom uh, to make a riser if you will. So we've cut that already with the die and fold this all the way around. Okay. And before I glue it together, I'm going to put this on my mat and I would probably mark this if I was doing them um, professionally, but I'm just showing you real quickly. So I'm just going to cut diagonally. I'm going to stop about a quarter of an inch away from the corner. So start a quarter of an inch finish a quarter of an inch. So what that does is that just gives it like a little bit of an indention or a spring to it. And we'll take our glossy accents, fold our tabs all in. You can hear it squeak as I touch the bottle right to the paper so that I don't get a ton of extra glue squishing out. Kind of funny it makes that noise. 
And so just like in all the other videos, we just simply press those up, lining the edges. Give it a good squeeze there. Okay. And this is just a riser, but I'm still particular, so if my tab didn't line up straight, I still take my scissor and I just give it a nice little finish there, double check that it's straight and even. So now this goes in the bottom here, and our cupcake now, you can see, sits up. And I did make my flaps a little wider than I would like, so go ahead and cut a bigger triangle out of the middle. And I'm a little out of practice, I haven't made one in a long time. So you can see that it's a lot narrower on the original versus this one here. So make it a little bit narrower. That way it's a little tighter to your cupcake. But it really does give it a nice little box. And I do have little stamps that match the curve of the candy box topper die. Those will be under the same category. And I did use the little confetti hearts out of the die. That's what I did there. Just really quick, if you do need to make a fake cupcake, this is a styrofoam ball. And I should have cut it a little more flat on the bottom, um, but then it's glued into double cupcake liners. And this is clear, or excuse me, white epoxy mixed with some red acrylic paint, and it turned it pink. So I just mixed it in a plastic bag, and then I frosted it, and I let it sit, and then I glued these on, and a little pom-pom for the cherry. So if you just need to make some fake food, instead of paying $25 for a fake cupcake, I think this one might have cost me about 4 bucks. So there you have it. The Candy Box Topper Die Making a Cupcake Holder. Thank you for joining me, and have a wonderful day.